in this uh, class we are going to discuss number systems and uh, its types. Generally number systems are used to define magnitude of any quantity. Basically we are having four types of number systems those are binary, octal, decimal and hexadecimal. When we are discussing these types of number systems we need to get a knowledge about base or radix of a number system. Now we will see what is meant by base or radix. So here base or radix of a number system is nothing but the value representing that number system. This base or radix is always used to define the maximum value of digits or symbols or letters used in that particular number system. Now let us see one by one number system uh, for base and radix. First of all we will take binary number system. For binary number system the base or radix is equal to 2 that means the value representing this particular binary number system is equal to 2. Now the maximum value of digits we can use in this number system can be defined by using a formula that is 0 to r minus 1. This r represents the base or radix. So the maximum value of digits we can use in this particular number system is equal to 0 to 2 minus 1 that is equal to 0 to 1 that means 0 comma 1 we can use. So this is the reason behind why we are having only 0 and 1 in this particular number system. Now let us see for octal number. For octal number the base or radix is equal to 8. For octal number system the base or radix is equal to 8. In the same way we can find the maximum number of digits used in this number system by using same formula that is 0 to r minus 1. Here for octal r that means radix is equal to 8. So maximum number of digits we can use is 0 to 8 minus 1 that means 7 you can use that means 0 comma 1 comma 2 comma so on 7 up to 7 we can use in octal number system that means uh, for example uh, if anyone given you 278 and they asked this is a octal or uh, any other number. You can say this is not an octal number. Why? Because one of the digit exceeded some 7. So for example, if anyone given 273, is this octal or, in, in, or not? So definitely this is an octal number. Why? Because all the digits are in the range of octal. That means 0 to 7. See this number? Here in this number, one of the digit, that means 8, third digit least significant bit exceeded octal number system. So here all the digits are in the range. So this is a perfect octal number and this is not an octal number. Similarly we will go for decimal number system. Here we can say decimal number system is a manual number system. That means for example if I am asking how many fingers are there, if you are answering these are 5 numbers, whatever you are answering that is in decimal number system. So in daily life we are using decimal number system. So here the base or radix representing this number system is equal to 10 that is r value here is equal to 10 and then the maximum value of digits we can use is 0 to 10 minus 1 that means 0 to 9 we can use. So that means 0 comma 1 comma 2 comma up to 9 we can have in a decimal number system. For example same 278 if anyone asked us this is a decimal number or not definitely we can say this is a decimal number. Why? Because all the digits in this 278 are in the range of decimal number. So definitely this is a decimal number. Finally we will go for a hexadecimal number system. So for hexadecimal number system the base 
or radix is equal to 16. So, here the maximum value of digits we can use is up to 0 to 16 minus 1 means 15 we can use 0 to 15 we can use. So, here in hexadecimal number from 10 onwards that means 0, 1, 2, 3 up to 9 we will use as it is but from 10 onwards we are having some decoding like A, B, C, D, E and F for A, for A we are decoding from 10, 11 we are decoding as B, 12 we are decoding as C and 13 we are decoding as D and 14 we are decoding as E and 15 we are decoding as F. But why this decoding means here uh, for example I want to convey some information of hexadecimal number I want to convey a hexadecimal number to my friend I just written here and I left for example I want to convey two digit hexadecimal number that two digits are 2 and 15 definitely if you are thinking this is a hexadecimal number so 2 is one number and 15 is one number then it will be right but your friend came and he is thinking this is a decimal number with three digits he may read like this this is 215 that means three digit decimal number he may uh, uncorrectly uh, mistakenly understood this like a uh, decimal number with three digits so uh, so take out this confusion between the digits we are having this decoding for example if you written like 2f definitely anyone can understand this is a hexadecimal number with two digits the two digits are 2 and F.